All right, let's get started here. In a hot pan, go ahead and add just a little bit of olive oil. Once you've done that, go ahead and add about a half a cup of diced onion. And then you want to go ahead and add about a half a cup of diced bell pepper. It could be any color. Go ahead and get that all mixed together and get it sweated. Shouldn't take longer than a minute or two. Once you've got that done, go ahead and add one pound of ground beef. And you want to cut that ground beef up in really small pieces. You don't want big giant chunks in there. And then you want to add a half a pound of chorizo sausage. And go ahead and get that all cut up as well because you want to get everything mixed together nicely. You don't want it all, any chunks in there whatsoever. And once you've gotten that done, here's what your mixture looks like so far. And what we're gonna go ahead and do next is go ahead and add some of our spices. So we're gonna add three quarters of a teaspoon of salt or salt to taste. Then we're gonna go ahead and add pepper to your liking. I like fresh ground pepper because you actually can taste pepper. One teaspoon of cumin. A quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And I'm sorry about the fog, it'll go away, I apologize. A dash of Tabasco. Two tablespoons of chili powder. And here's your mixture, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful flavor just pouring out of that, right? Looking good so far, but we're not done. Next, we're gonna get our empanada discs. You can just go buy those at a, at a local supermarket. Just ask for empanada discs. They usually come in a pack of 10, individually separated here. And uh, what you wanna do is just get them unfrozen, room temperature, and then get your mixture once your mixture is cooled off and you want to uh, put your empanada filling in there. You can put it more towards the middle if you want. You don't want to overfill it because you want to make sure you can stuff it without it pouring out the sides. Then seal the edges, seal the edges with your fingers and then get a fork. And you want to use that fork to seal it. You want to press down hard because you want to seal both of the, all those edges around there. It's really simple. And it looks beautiful when it's done here. Check this out, look at that, right? Is that not an empanada? But we're not done yet. So what we're gonna do is just get everything else quickly done as well. Get those edges all put together and once uh, those are done, we have probably enough for another four more. Uh, we did 10, so just keep that in mind. If you wanna make a little extra, you'll actually have uh, some more stuff left. You should at least. And then in your oil, you wanna go ahead and just add about two at a time. Uh, I'm just using vegetable oil here. You can use lard, you can use uh, canola oil. And uh, what I'm doing is just getting them uh, fried until they're somewhat golden brown. They're gonna cook a little bit even when you take them off. But what I'm doing is moving them around a bit because they'll float to the top due to the air in them. So you gotta make sure they evenly cook. So play with them a little bit. And then when they get to about there, put them aside onto a paper towel. And just let them all cool and let them kind of drain off any excess oil that they have on them. And this is what they look like when they're on the paper towel. After they've been on there for about five minutes, hey man, they're ready to serve. Look at it. Are those not beautiful empanadas? Your family's going to love those. Thank you so much, so much for watching. You have a wonderful day. Hit like down below, hit subscribe, and goodbye. Bye-bye.